I'll be showing 10 new features in Teams assignments. This includes the ability for educators to turn in on behalf of students, late notifications for assignments, reading progress updates, and a whole lot more. So let's get started. The first new feature is letting educators turn in assignments on behalf of students. This might be for a student that is either sick or for some reason couldn't get their assignment turned in. I have my Amazon Rainforest assignment here, and it looks like Alex Wilbur has viewed it but not turned it in. And in this case, it might turn out that Alex actually had a medical emergency and while he finished his assignment, he wasn't able to actually turn it in. So what I can do here is click to open up Alex and I can see that he's actually attached his assignment. And right here, there's a new option, which is take action in student view. So I will click this and I will see that I am viewing this assignment as Alex Wilbur. And so what I can do now is I can actually turn this in on behalf of Alex, even if he's not able to. I could even attach or do other things in here, but in this case, I will just choose turn in late. Now that assignment is turned in from Alex's behalf, and I will click back. And now the assignment is officially turned in by the teacher right here in the upper right. And now I can do the normal grading and returning and other things that I would do. The second new feature is the long requested ability for educators to get notifications specifically for late assignments. I'm here as an educator and here's my assignment list. The first place I can turn on the late notifications is the gear here for the entire class. So in my fourth grade class, I'll click the settings gear and there's a new option that says receive notifications when students turn in assignments late. So if I turn this on, now every time that a student turns in a late assignment, I will get an activity bell notification up here in the upper left. I'm gonna turn this back off just for now and I'll click back. You can also turn on late notifications per assignment. In this case, I have the Amazon Rainforest Report assignment that was due a couple of weeks ago. In this case, I'm gonna go up here and in the three dot menu, you can turn it on per assignment. So I'll say notify for late turn-ins, turn that on you'll notice that a little bell appears right here. So now it says late turn in notifications are enabled. And this is only for this assignment. Other assignments won't give me that activity bell. Now what I'll show is a student turning in this assignment late. I'm signed in as Ella the student and I have this Amazon Rainforest report that was due on February 4th and it looks like it's past due. I'm gonna open this up and now I'll just quickly attach my assignment. Okay, my Amazon Rainforest document is all ready to go. Now I'm gonna click turn in late. Now back in the teacher view here, you can see that I got Ella return a late assignment. And if I go to the activity bell, here it is, Ella return a late assignment. And if I click on this, it'll take me right to Ella in the list of the assignments here. And it says turned in 23 days late. So now you can turn on notifications specifically for your late assignments. The third new feature is mini speed grader view. I have an assignment here and I'm gonna be opening up the speed grader. Now I'm gonna click on Alex Wilbur at the bottom. Now here's an example of a reading progress assignment and because my laptop screen is not as big, all of this information here gets kind of squished in the middle. I have my video, but then these things don't have as much space and I have to scroll up and down. The mini speed grader lets me hide the pane on the right hand side to get more space. So in the lower right, I'll click hide pane. That collapses the pane, and I can still see that it's Alex Wilbur. I can still go forwards and backwards so I can go to the next student or the previous student, just like before. Now I have more space in reading progress to do the things that I need to do to mark things, etc. I can also do this in a normal Word document. So I'm gonna expand this again by clicking expand, and now I get the full speed grader back. Let's try a Word document. Here's a Word document that's open, and again, I just click hide pane, and I get a little bit more space here and I can do what I need to. I can even click the little arrow here to return. So I click here and it has now returned that document back to the student. If I click expand, you'll see that it's been returned. The fourth new feature is granular control of assignment notifications in Teams settings. This has been a really big request for a long time. I'm gonna go to the three dot menu in the upper right here, drop this down and choose settings. Now go to notifications, and you're gonna scroll down and you'll see this assignments option. This will only show up if you are an educator with a Microsoft Education SKU, and that's using Teams for Education. So now I can click Edit, and I have some nice controls so I don't get flooded with notifications or I can get notified in very certain situations. So one is when assignments publish, I can turn that off. I can put the banner or the feed or only show in the feed. So now when you publish an assignment, you can notify or not. 
Even when an assignment is modified, you can control that. Assignments being returned, this can be a really important one. Teachers wanna know when they're returned or maybe they say, I never wanna get pinged when those assignments are returned. And then if an assignment fails, so for some reason, if there's a failure to distribute an assignment, you can choose this one as well. This will make it much easier on the educators who may or may not want to get flooded with notifications. The fifth new feature is the ability for students to record and attach video on a mobile device. I'm signed in as a student here and here is my assignment to record a video of trees. What I'll do is tap on new here and tap video recording. This opens up the new video recorder. I'm filming the trees in my neighborhood as part of the assignment here. And when I'm done, I'll tap the little right arrow at the lower right. That's my first recording. Now I can do things like trim it if I want, go back and forth. I can also add another clip. So I'll tap add clip. Here's another tree. I'm adding this clip and recording here. Tap the little blue right arrow again to stop and go next on your clip. Now I've got both clips. I can tap and I could trim either one. You can see I'm doing that here. Tap confirm. I'm all set to turn this in and tap done. Now I'm ready to turn it in. Just tap turn in in the upper right. And there's my beautiful unicorn. Assignment's all done. The sixth new feature is the ability to create and manage rubrics on a mobile device. I'm here signed in as an educator and I'm gonna create a new assignment and add a mobile rubric to it. Tap the plus button and now choose new assignment. Choose the class, choose science, hit next. Now we're gonna tap add rubric. Here's the rubric dialog, tap add rubric. Give it a title. Okay, now we're gonna flip on points. And you can see the different ratings it gives by default. I can add a new one here. I could remove this. For now, I'll leave it as default and tap next. Now I'm gonna give it a description for my grading criteria. And I'm gonna just put this at 100 and then tap finish criteria. So this is just like the normal rubric that you have in desktop. I'm all set here and tap done. Now this rubric is attached. You can see it right here. I can tap on it if I want to go look at it again. Now I just give a title to your assignment and tap assign. There is your mobile rubrics. The seventh new feature is actionable insights in reading progress and creating a challenge assignment. I'm here in reading progress insights and this is the insights you're all familiar with. So if I scroll down here to the word cloud challenging words, there's a new button that says create challenge assignment. What we've done is we've made it really easy for an educator to just click a button here and it's gonna generate a word list as an assignment based on the, some of the challenging words. And so I'm just gonna click this button here. And now it's creating the assignment. Now what you see is it launches reading progress all set up to make a new assignment. It puts the top challenging words automatically in a list right here. And now I'm ready to go. So I just go hit next here. And then I fill out my assignment and I can put whatever information I want and click assign. So this is a huge time saver for educators who are looking to do that. Also, you can make it on a per student basis versus the entire class. So I'll show that really quick. I'm back in insights here. I'll click down the student list and I'm gonna choose Alex Wilbur. So I scroll down on Alex and I have that same option at the bottom. Here's the words that Alex was having problems with. I can make a personalized challenge assignment for him with just a click of a button. The eighth new feature is the ability for educators to customize the return to student report when they finish reviewing a reading progress assignment. We used to only have the full report and the simplified report. Now we're giving lots of options to customize it in just the way you want. So right here, I've marked up my passage as a teacher of this student, and now I'm ready to return it. If I click edit here, you've already had full report in the past and simplified report. We've added also custom report. So if I click this one, I can customize exactly how that report will return to the student. So I'll click the arrow here. Now you see all the different options and I can check and uncheck different things. So let's say I wanna not show accuracy and I don't wanna show number of attempts and I don't wanna show reading level. So I'll show correct words per minute, word count, and then all the different highlights. Now I'll click save. Now this report will get sent back with my customizations. The ninth new feature is that the return to revision feature in assignments fully works with reading progress now. So now if I've given Ashley some feedback, hey, can you try this one again? If I click the down arrow here, I can choose return for revision. We'll choose that. Now it's gonna send this back to Ashley with some feedback and have her doing it again. Now I'll switch over to the student to show what that looks like. 
I'm signed in as Ashley. Here's my geography assignment and it looks like it needs revision. So I will click this to open it. And it says return for revision there. And there's my feedback. Hey, can you try this one again? So let's open up the geography passage. First off, you'll see that this report now shows words per minute. It doesn't show accuracy rate. It doesn't show the reading level or number of attempts, and it only shows these highlights. So this is that custom report that we talked about. On the revision side, there's now a bar across the top that says, click on the highlighted words to learn for your mistakes. Tap next when you're ready to try this passage again. And there's a next button. So now I'll click next and it says, hey, are you sure you're done reviewing? This is gonna let you re-record, but once you do that, you can't come back to this page. So now I'll click start reading. And hey, this isn't Ashley, this is really just me, but if I was Ashley, I could start over and click start and I get the countdown. And now I could redo my reading and then say I'm done, use this recording, and now I'll just click turn in again. And now I've resubmitted my assignment with the revision. The tenth new feature is that we have over 100 languages and locales for auto-detect in reading progress. Our previous number was 37, and we've just added 67 new languages, so we have over 100 at this point. There's a link on the screen and also in this video's description to go to this site and has all the new languages and locales that are supported, and these are fully rolled out now. If you want to keep up with all the latest Microsoft updates and tips and tricks, subscribe to my channel and then just ring the bell so you get all the latest videos that I post.